Okay, so tonight it's about an experience that I had the other day. I want to share that with you. Uh, you know that I'm always searching why I'm able to paint on Tok Tok and Marcolis music and why I'm not really able to paint on other musics. And while I was shooting my last video, uh, you know, about my painting, I was actually painting, I was playing the album It's My Life. And uh, I realized that it was very calming and soothing. And it's strange because some of the songs are, that's true, uh, soothing, but not all of them. I mean, some songs like uh, Rene or even uh, Tomorrow Started, they are not really joyful, so we can say that it's calming, but actually it is. And I realized that it was not calming only for me, but also on my cats. My cats were, before I started painting, they were fighting together. I had to separate them or to ask them to stop making so much noise. And as soon as I played the music, they stopped and they started watching me painting, which was actually funny because it's like if they were taking a painting lesson. Actually, uh, at a point they were at my window. I don't know if you remember on my last video. I was just afraid that they make my pot with... I, I have the kind of glass with some uh, turpentine in it. I was afraid them to make it fall down and put some turpentine everywhere. But beside that, they were very nice and very calm. And I realized that Marcolis and Tok Tok music is not only a trick to paint, it's not only something to get inspired from, but it's also something calming. I had a second experience uh, the other morning. I, I woke up and I had several ridiculous problems. Uh, with an app which was not working. It was my bank app which was not working because they updated it and my phone is too old to be able to work with it. So I was so upset. I, I know it's completely ridiculous, especially my bank app. It's not the thing that I love the most in life anyway. So, and I was so mad in the morning and so upset about that. And uh, as every morning, I check my emails, I check my messages on Facebook and everything. And a friend of mine on Facebook uh, posted uh, a song, Wealth, by Marcolis. Um, you know, the spirit of Eden album. And I played it because every time this friend posts something about Tok Tok or Marcolis, of course, I listen to it. And suddenly I was like, what why was i upset i couldn't even remember why and i realized that it was not only it's my life but it seems that it's basically most of the albums by tok tok or mark Hollis. so i wanted to know if it has the same effect on you because for me, I realized that when I was listening to this kind of music, it was very comforting. It was, I was feeling so good. And it's probably why I'm able to paint because I'm feeling like confident, uh, secure. Uh, I feel great when I listen to this music. So it means that it has something more. Aussi que, parce que je pense que c'est très important en matière de musique. So what, what I think is really important qu'en passant l'album, pendant une demi-heure, on puisse se transporter mentalement. You know, on, um, on Such a Shame, there is a video Such a Shame on YouTube and I commented underneath a long time ago and I wrote something like, uh, seriously, this video should be studied because uh, it makes you feel so much better. It, it makes you, um, it's like a cure against anxiety. And because I realized that every time I was feeling anxious, 
I was going on such a shame, on the such a shame video, and instantly I was feeling better. I, I will try to insert my comment uh, on this video, uh, not because I, I think that my comment is extraordinary, no. It's just because so many people liked my comment because probably they feel the same thing as I do. So it means that it really has a very specific effect, this kind of music. And that's probably one of the reasons why so many people love Tok Tok and Marcolis and still now, still today. So another thing that I wanted to say, um, you know, si since uh, the beginning I've been doing these videos about Tok Tok and Marcolis, I realized lately that I was really somehow hoping that one day Marcolis would come back and make a new album for us. And I'm still hoping that, of course, who wouldn't want another album, you know, because it would be great for sure. I, I love everything he made, so I don't see any reason why I wouldn't uh, love what he would make now. There are even pieces which have been included in a um, TV show, which is quite different from the Talk Talk music, of course. But I even like that, you know, I, there is not one thing that I don't like, so why wouldn't I love what would come now, you know? But in the same time, I realized that um, Marcolis is very uh, ethical, sincere, honest, he doesn't like to compromise. He has an idea in mind and that's what he wants to deliver. Uh, he has a lot of morality. Um, obviously he's interested in religion, in general not a specific religion, but I mean um, in an interview, if you go on, um, if you go on Snow in Berlin, go on the Color of Spring page, and uh, if you scroll down, you will see an article, I think it's a Dutch article, which has been translated in English. And he says that he thinks that religion is something good, um, opposed to the war, which is something bad and which we shouldn't associate war and religion because it's two different things. Uh, he also says in another article that um, he has a kind of morality and he tries to <clears throat> convey that in his songs, but in the same time morality is something that he doesn't see a lot, especially in his job, and um, of course he doesn't like that. So. Uh, I'm not going to tell you that I'm the queen of morality, uh, I try to do my best, but uh, we are never perfect, of course. However, I've been raised by a nanny who was Catholic and who um, taught me the, I would say, the, the essence of the morality. I mean, she taught me what was good and what was bad. And even if I'm not Catholic myself, actually I'm nothing at all, I just believe in God and that's it, I'm nothing specifically, but I still believe in these values. I mean, uh, I know t how to make the difference between something which is good and something which is bad. That is probably why I love Marcolis music and his lyrics, because I feel something very good in it. And I'm not wondering uh, 
sometimes you have some singers who sing weird things and you are wondering is it violent did i understand well uh, i'm not sure that i'm sharing this kind of values and especially in the rap for example in the case of Marcolis and Tuk Tuk, we feel that everything comes from the heart, comes from love, like religion. Uh, Marcolis himself said in this article, that uh, in the Dutch article, that uh, religion is love. So uh, when he speaks of religion, he speaks about love. His music speaks about love. His lyrics speak about love and um, that's what he wants to convey in his music and that's probably what I receive and that's probably why I feel so comfortable with it. But you know, if Marcolis was coming back now in the music industry, um, I'm not sure if he would be able to handle it because it, it became really very nasty. Uh, I think that uh, the game is not the same anymore. I'm not sure there is a lot of honesty in this job. I think that the artists need to compromise a lot and you have no idea how much. I've been reading things lately which really scared me and I don't even want to talk about it because I could be in trouble, I don't know. I don't know, all that is really weird to me, so I think that the job the, of the music is not the same as it used to be, and um, I'm not sure that Marcolis would accept to work in such an environment, and chiefly I think that uh, so the reason why he stopped uh, is none of my concern, I mean it's private it's his own decision i understood however because he said so that he wanted to be close to his children and he couldn't go and tour during one year or eight months because he wanted to take care of his kids which is really very uh, great i would say I, I i admire that i completely respect that that's wonderful j'ai arrêté les tournées parce que je voulais fonder une famille. Les tournées et les familles ne sont pas vraiment deux choses compatibles. Lorsque, en 87, nous avons eu avec ma femme notre premier enfant, j'ai fait un choix. But you know what? Even if we are deprived uh, of him from him i don't know how we say even if we are missing him and we are missing his music i'm wondering now if it's not better for him what he did and if it's not better for him to live his life uh, by a very uh, a private and uh, joyful way rather than fighting with a world which is really weird now, you know. More I'm searching about the music, more I'm frightened by what I find. And um, I think the most important is love, family, close friends. The wealth, the monetary wealth, I mean, is not so important, I would say. Uh, I think that uh, family and friends come and love come first. So he chose that. I can only respect that. One thing, if you are watching my video and you plan to work in the music industry and you want to make some music in your life, don't uh, be discouraged by what I'm saying. Just don't compromise too much. Don't accept things which seem to you um, not moral or mean or dangerous or weird. Uh, I think that any success doesn't deserve, it's, it's not worth to give so much. On the other hand, I think that an artist who is ready to 
give so much just for the success probably doesn't have a lot of morality so I can't tell you what to do it's up to you just know that you get nothing without giving something and sometimes what is asked from you is a little too much well that is my opinion anyway Marcolis didn't want to compromise and good for him I think he was right I think he was right I admire that as I said before I made a lot of videos about Spirit of Eden and uh, what he did for us and I can only admire that because there are not a lot of honest artists famous honest artists we don't have a lot Anyway, uh, I don't know if this video is going to be very long, I don't think so, but I just wanted to talk about that tonight. I will probably talk about um, the color of spring in my next video. Actually, I didn't decide that someone asked for it. And I realized that I didn't talk a lot about the color of spring and I don't know why I absolutely love this album too. Uh, so I'm going to talk a little more about the color of spring and maybe in another video I will talk about the B-sides because it has been asked from me too. So I want to please you and that's what I'm going to do. <laughs> Um, okay, of course, I will continue on my painting, the usual. If you liked my video, please give me a thumb up. I I'm not saying that because uh, I want to have a lot of thumb up, but when you don't comment for me, it's the only way to know that you liked it and to know if I must go in this kind of direction because I do my videos for myself but also to interest you so if I talk alone and I interest nobody what's the point okay I can talk for myself alone I don't need videos for that okay so I see you this time very soon I tell you bye bye Ron my DJ Ron is going to come back soon he had a few serious health problems, but now he's fine. He's perfect, so I'm very glad. So hopefully we will have an art walk in April with Ron. I cross the finger and I hope he will be back and in good shape. Bye bye, see you soon.